Hey, vind jij vrouwen ook zo ingewikkeld, mysterieus, ongrijpbaar? Dan heb ik het spel voor jou. Super Seducer, een interactieve dating game die jou leert hoe je vrouwen moet versieren. De game is erg interessant, want aan de ene kant is er bloedserieus datingadvies. Gewoon hoe kan je het beste een klein gesprekje hebben met een vrouw en weggaan met haar telefoonnummer. Best wel leerzaam. Maar de andere helft van het spel is totaal niet serieus. Je kan halverwege een gesprek opeens zeggen van ja, ik vind je een domme kut. Of je piemel uit je broek halen. Het is een heel raar spel. Heel leerzaam, maar vooral... Heel grappig. Laten we lekker gaan spelen. Ik heb al een aantal levels gedaan. Girl on street, two girls in bar en club dance floor. Dus we gaan lekker verder in level 4. Girl sitting in coffee shop. Dat zijn hele speciale meisjes die op hele interessante manieren zal moeten versieren. De doelstelling is haar telefoonnummer krijgen. We duiken er gewoon met volle overgave in. Kijk, ik heb er meteen gewoon zin in. Zij totaal niet, overigens. We gaan een boek lezen. Laat vrouwen met rust. Is een niet heel goede dating tip, maar het is wel netjes. Laten we daarop houden. Oké, okay, we kunnen gewoon meteen erin duiken. Zeg haar dat je het boek al gelezen hebt en dat hij doodgaat op het einde. Duidelijk. De manier om een gesprek te openen met een verse spoiler. Hey. Hi. What's you got there? A book. Oh no, it boek. was the, the cover. Ah, oh, that one. Have you read it? He dies in the end. <laughs> yeah, he does. Sorry to spoil it. I've actually read it before. Oh, you read it before? So you like it? Oh, okay. Once it again. Well, I read it in, when I was a lot younger, and I don't know if I understood it, so I thought I should reread it. Oh, that's good. Yeah. So anyway, my name's Richard. Okay, nice opening word of the gesprek. Ik bedoel, het is ongemakkelijk. Dit is een playful opener. Maar het is altijd Again, ongemakkelijk. Het kan werken als je het deliver it correctly. Uh, misschien zal ze look confused at the worst, maar je kan het nog carry it on. En so dus is het eigenlijk got een very high chance of succes. Yes! De date master. Oké, okay, wat gaan we nu doen? We kunnen zeggen dat ze mooi haar heeft en vragen of ze meekomt bij ons thuis. Daar is de koffie wel gratis. Ik zeg het gewoon eventjes. We kunnen vragen: kom je hier vaker? Geniaal, dit is echt dating 101. Laten we gewoon vragen of ze met ons mee naar huis wil. Gewoon meteen, we duiken er gewoon op. Ik vind je haar Het is een mooie kleur en lang. Dank je. Maar gewoon één ding. Ik denk dat het echt heel erg goed zou zijn als je het gewoon wasst en conditioned het. Excuse me. Wat? Je weet, like, get some shampoo, some. Hé, hey, meisje, je bent vies. Nice, ben je met mijn douche? Nice brand, you know, just mm -hmm. Use that in the morning, so it would look. Dit is heel ongemakkelijk. Well, that is a helpful tip. Like mine. I will. Lustrous. Yes, I will. Die man heeft wel beter de kapsel. I live quite nearby, and I've got this. Um, what is it? Shower. You know, Aveda. Very uh -huh. nice shampoo. Never heard so of it. So you could come back, and I'll wash your hair. You know, like they do when you go for a haircut, <laughs> and you kind of lean back, and they're actually in the shower, obviously, because I don't know if that's safe. I can wash your hair really nice. I've got this great Aveda. It's all natural, organic. And Are you whatever. inviting me to your house to wash my hair? Yeah. yeah. It'd be great. I want to see what it looks like. I've got hair dryer. This is a first, <laughs> first for me. But Very close, though. I'm sure it's it's tempting. But, of course. But no. No. Oh. I'm going to pass. Off hmm. a hard pass. Well, I mean, we can do it another day. No, so I, I think I'm just going to have a hard pass. Can make your hair an other year, boss? I don't really understand that hard pass indefinitely, but I guess it means that you want to meet me again soon. So I'm going <laughs> to take your number. Geef nooit op. Call your phone now and see it ring so that I make sure it's the right number. Ah. And then we can meet another day. This is actually my phone that I use in foreign countries, so it's got the wrong SIM in it, the wrong SIM card. I'm sorry. Ze heeft geen zin in. I'm really, it's really difficult to get in touch with me. Um, I could give you my SIM and then call my number from Skype, and we meet tomorrow. I don't think so. I'm sorry. No. No. All right. Well, you know, we'll meet again, right? If it's meant to be. Maybe. We bump into <laughs> de goden willen dat ik je smerige haar ga wassen. Begrijp dat alsjeblieft. Oké, okay, so that's one of my favorite moments in the game. And you know, it does show a good positive trait, which is persistence. And in reality, maybe she would have broken and started laughing and actually liked you. But there's a point where you need to say, 
Okay, Stop I respect playing. this girl. She said no to me, you know, mm. 22 times. I think that's enough. That way you're leaving in a nice, gentlemanly way, creating... Dat was het probleem. We hadden te so, weinig respect voor Although, vrouwen. You know, kan gebeuren. Het overkomt de beste. Like Oké, okay, we kunnen het gewoon nog een keer proberen. Uh, ik denk dan toch gewoon vragen of ze hier vaker komt. Gewoon omdat het de perfecte cliché is. En ze komt hier sowieso vaker. So, um, do you come here often to this coffee shop? No, not really. No, first time maybe? Second time? I've been here a few times. But... That's cool. Um, yeah. You go to other coffee shops usually, or just not much coffee drinking going on. Or you take it away, maybe. I do all of those things. Whoa. Mm. That's cool. Variety. Yeah. They say so variety stiff. is the spice of life. They do. Mm. So it's good that you don't come here often and do the same thing and sit in the same chair, right? Yeah, I think so. That's good. Mm-hmm. We always want to stay away from the standard yeah. questions, the standard answers. It's the and cliche. This one is just an example of the usual lame stuff that guys come up with, so don't do it. So how are you able to be free in the middle of the morning? Goeie vraag. Thursday? Um, well, I do have a job, but it's, it's kind of from the laptop, from home, hey, or, in, uh, from anywhere. YouTuber. But, um, say like internet stuff. And you see that with America, so vrouwen zijn Europe, niet onder de indruk. <laughs> Jammer genoeg. Right. I'm, I'm kind of free. Yeah, you know, yeah. Can be working at home, lying in bed, mm-hmm. lying on the balcony. <laughs> generally lying down, working. <laughs> that's nice. So that's cool. And how about you? How come you're kunnen we ook aan jou vragen, ja. Moet niet werken well, of zo. I have, I'm a, I work at the university, so I have kind of an unusual schedule. I have some free time during the day and I work in the evenings. Hmm. Oké, okay. ze heeft een baan. Yeah. Score. We kunnen zeggen dat de universiteit voor sukkels is en zonde is van je tijd. Maar we kunnen ook zeggen, oh, dan geef je vast seksuele voorlichting. Dat is erg seksistisch. Gewoon even kijken hoe dat werkt bij de dames. Houden vrouwen van seksisme? Je kan het altijd proberen. Hmm, so what do you teach in the university? Let me guess. So, blonde hair. Oh, careful. No, no, no. It's going somewhere nice. Sexy <laughs> outfit and heels. Uh-huh. I'm going to say you teach, uh, like, sex ed. Something like that. Not close. No? No. Oh, dat dat ging zeggen dat we warm waren. You know, ancient history or something, are you? Just all like this, sexy and whatever. <laughs> so you're suggesting I'm dumb? Dumb to teach sex is very valuable for children these days. You know, safe sex, not having sex or whatever you teach. Or what do you teach in sex? Oh my god. <laughs> not that you, you can should... teach me anything. You should oh, okay. leave. If I could, maybe Would I you, could will you have some just ideas. leave? I think uh, this is, this uh, is very uncomfortable. Hmm. Worden vrouwen well, look, when it comes uncomfortable to sex, van seksisme? To... Just, just leave. When you say no, do you mean yes or? I mean no. Ga weg. Stop. No always means no. No like no. No like you should leave right. Not bad meaning good like Michael Jackson. No like <laughs> thinking about calling the police. What? Okay, well look, it's lovely meeting you. I do have to go, and actually I've I've got you another could. another girl to meet. I Great. was only being friendly. I didn't yeah. actually want to date you. I'm I sure just, she's I a treat. Just, Okay, so the real life lesson here is not to take things too sexual too quickly. Mm. Uh, it really, 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 really works. If it does work, it's when she's drunk in a bar. Definitely not in the daytime when she's reading Kafka. Goed, dating advies. Oké, okay, we kunnen een ander proberen. Uh, zeg dat de universiteit zonder van je tijd is, wordt ze gewoon boos. Maar gewoon niet uh, creepy dude boos, maar gewoon uh, wat een lul boos. Dus laten we gaan voor waarschijnlijk de goede optie. Uh, kom maar achter of ze haar werk alleen doet voor het geld of omdat ze het daadwerkelijk leuk vindt. Het is een daadwerkelijke vraag waardoor je iemand leert kennen, wat misschien handig is in plaats van seksisme. Laten we het proberen. Is je teacher at the university? That's interesting. Yeah. And tell me, do you actually like what you do or you do it just for money? No, I really do like what I do. Great. Mm-hmm. You feel like you're making a difference in people's lives and all of this? Yeah, I, I actually do. I honestly nice, I feel nice. like what I do is important and that the information I convey will be valuable to these people and to my students. That could be true because I still remember uh, my teachers from primary school mm-hmm. and uh, in secondary school. I don't know if you're the same, but did you like the subjects most where the teachers were good? Mm-hmm. And then later, maybe you weren't even interested in that subject. So mm-hmm. a good teacher can just change the whole course of someone's life. 
You know, most people just do their job for money and then they come moan about it and they hate it. Veel te lang door, te lang geen seksisme gezien. Ik wil lachen, jongens. Ik wil ongemakkelijkheid. Thanks. Dus gewoon tevreden. This is a nice thing that you can ask anyone. So well done for picking this. It's the right option, and it can always lead to an interesting conversation. Whether she's into a job, she can tell you why, or she's not, and she can tell you something else that she's passionate about. Deze man weet wel gewoon waar hij over heeft. American culture. Huh? What what does that entail? So kind of a lot, quite a few different themes. For example, we kind of started with an overview of American values. Which was really interesting. Like um, freedom. Erg verveeld. Yeah. Things like that, and even more so, for example, an interesting one is how Americans relate to the future. Like it's something we feel like we can control in some sense. And like Back to the Future. <laughs> the movie. Mm, I don't see how. I don't know what you mean. Okay, but Americans think that they that they control their own destiny. Yeah. Kind of, yeah? Okay, eens even kijken. We kunnen haar beledigen door te zeggen dat haar werk gaat over het uitvinden van hamburgers omdat ze Amerikaanse cultuur geeft. Dat is wel een leuk inkoppertje, gewoon eventjes er belachelijk maken. De andere opties zijn haar uitdagen om echt goed uit te leggen waarom het belangrijk is. Dat zou ik doen in een gesprek, gewoon alles ondermijnen, kapot maken, zijn vrouwen dol op. Uh, of we kunnen gewoon een complimentje geven over de werk. Laten we gewoon beginnen bij A. Uh, even eens kijken wat beledigen precies doet in dit gesprek, want we zijn hier voor de humor. The thing is, I'm a little bit skeptical. I don't know, it's strange that there's even a subject about it, because American culture, couldn't you teach that in like, I don't know, half a day or something? American culture? <laughs> like you invented what, a burger and a donut and... The internet. That was in Europe. No. Yeah, it was. It, it was wel in Europa. Uh, Norwegian dude it was or the English Navy. Dude, <laughs> No. Pretty sure. I'm sure you're wrong. I'm going to check that. Using, Go ahead. I'll, I'll use the internet that was will invented use, in Europe. Will you use Google? Google was from Stanford University, yeah. That was well done. You made a page with a box and you can search. <laughs> so that's the, but that's not really culture, that's technology. Okay, okay, fair enough. I think that's a very English perspective. I'm, I'm not saying what you teach is useless. It's mm -hmm. just maybe you could teach someone else. <laughs> well, cool. well, it's a subject, so... Right. It's pretty valuable. Yeah, I mean, so that people don't it's... say offensive things to Americans like this. Okay, well, I mean, you'll tell me more, and I'll get to know. Maybe you'll teach me. But mm -hmm. I mean, I do like donuts, so that's one thing America. <laughs> We've done that. Big win. There, mm -hmm. so that's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Although if done kind of playfully, it might be okay. <laughs> it's probably not the best time to be um, insulting and teasing. So not the best option. It's gone. I really canoe. enjoy my job, but there is this one little thing that's very frustrating for me. I've got this problem where I can't print all the copies that I need, and but I want my students to all have their own copy to take home, but then I have to go to the printer like every day, and it gets kind of expensive. So what do you think I should do? We kunnen zeggen, sorry, ik was afgeleid. We kunnen gewoon heel vaag antwoorden van ja, ja, ja. Uh. Of we kunnen dat werk advies geven dat ze meer print te goed. Echt een typisch onderwerp om het vreemde. Oh, weet je wat ik echt kut vind aan mijn baan? Ik heb te weinig print te goed. Zoals Boef ooit zei in een van zijn liedjes. Ik heb print te goed, want ik print te goed. Boom. Uh, in ieder geval, laten we gewoon zeggen dat we afgeleid waren door een andere vrouw. Beetje competitie. Um, look, to be honest, did you see that girl that just walked by? Mm -mm. <laughs> yeah, she's gone now, but she had, like, amazing long legs and just the perfect, um, ass on there, and she just, hey, she looked back and it winked at me or something, like, smiled, and I was just totally distracted, but, <laughs> anyway, give me a second to chill out. <laughs> So, right, something about work, yeah? Problem at work? Yeah, never mind. Yeah. It's, it's not important. You will geen printer advies from the cont, man. I snap it, I snap right. it. Okay, but that's cool. So, Ga problem at work, but otherwise all good in your life. Yeah. The lesson here is that there's one thing being honest, uh, which is, you know, saying actually that girl distracted me, and then there's another when you're going into all the detail and mm. being kind of dirty. Girls just aren't ready for that.
Ja, vrouwen zijn daar niet klaar voor, dat is waar. Laten we een daadwerkelijke oplossing geven. Meer printen goed, want ik print te goed, is sowieso het juiste antwoord. That's bad, so I guess you don't have enough like papers for the students and stuff, yeah? Yeah, that's part of it. Mm. I guess you can ask for more allowance or get them to share, but yeah, it's annoying. Mm -hmm. Well done, you weren't distracted by the sexy chick that walked by, <laughs> and that's something that, you know, you can use out there. Well done for paying attention and getting the right response. Yay! So you got your teaching thing, and what else is important in your life? What else do you love to do? I really love dogs. And ik wist gewoon dat ze dat ging zeggen. Travel. Ik voelde yeah. hem gewoon. That's cool. Do you travel a lot? I've traveled quite a bit these last couple of years, especially. And tell me, what's the absolute best place you've seen? Like, if people who have never traveled anywhere say, where's the best place that I should see? Where is it? I would actually say it, that you should go to the United States and go see the Grand Canyon. It's amazing. I can't do it justice with words, but it's wonderful. Okay. <laughs> De antwoorden zijn weer prachtig. We kunnen zeggen dat het saai is en er is geen wifi. Dat is zelf gewoon het gesprek beëindigen, pretty much. We kunnen zeggen dat we in de Grand Canyon waren. Dan is er van, oeh, ik ben ook op plaatsen geweest. Ze houdt wel duidelijk van reizen. Dus dat jij ook van reizen houdt. Vaak is het wel handig als je een soort van een meisje leuk vindt en dezelfde hobby's. Dat is waarschijnlijk het goede antwoord. We kunnen ook zeggen dat we in Thailand zijn geweest, ook reizen. En dan uitgebreid gaan praten over de seksuele ervaringen die we hadden in Thailand. Ik used to travel a lot more than I do now. Uh -huh. when, I was, when I was younger. And been to a lot of countries. Um, Europe, Asia. Oh yeah, the Asia. The Americas. Yeah. Where were much. you in Asia? Asia, I was in Japan, China, Hong Kong, mm -hmm. like most of Asia, and uh -huh. I like Singapore, but probably my favorite place was Thailand. So, tell me what you liked about Thailand. No! Well, um, let's just say for a single guy who likes women, you know, sometimes two, three women at a time, <laughs> it's just just like heaven, God, the things I got up to in that, in that week, just... What do you mean? <laughs> Whoa! All your fantasies can come true. You go to the place, there's all these chicks. Not to mince words. You, 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 $50. You, you're describing prostitution. Yeah, but it's legal there, so it's okay. Oh. <laughs> wow, that's a very yeah. shocking admission. Cheap. The best thing is cheap, and they're pretty, very pretty, uh -huh. and happy. Happy. Prostitute. Happy Koop prostitute. het wel, blij yeah, prostitute really... wees. Ik wil best een keer naar Thailand, mm. ik zou het overwegen. Wrong. And I made them happier, I think. Oh, I, I doubt that. Because okay. the other guys there, you know, there are loads of these horrible, fat, this is really... sleazy guys. And yeah. I'm, you know, very polite and friendly. This is... I'm not sure this is a... We should talk about this. No, 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 of course. I mean, you asked what I liked about Thailand, and yeah. I'm just an honest guy. Just, that's how I understand it is. So honesty, next, but yeah. That's... I mean, if you ask me anything, You can, but you got to be ready for the response. So if you ask I me what I like doing in Thailand, what I like doing in bed, what <laughs> I like doing schuld. in... It's all about your fault. You know, other places, <laughs> a lot of places. Um, I'll be honest, but that's cool. You know, don't need to talk about it. But it was all legal and they were very happy. I guess so. I just don't see how it being legal makes it any less disgusting. <laughs> um, it was quite dirty, but I wouldn't say disgusting. But anyway, <laughs> we don't need to talk about it anymore. That's cool. Top okay, comedy. So there you have it. Don't go to Thailand. Don't sleep with prostitutes. Don't tell people about the prostitutes that you didn't sleep with when you didn't go to Thailand. And you'll be okay. Dating advies. <laughs> Ga niet naar Thailand om seks met prostituees. Maar het leek me net zo'n goed idee. Oké, okay, we kunnen even zeggen dat het heel saai is hier. Dat er geen wifi is. Aangezien we toch al een beetje in die rol zijn gekropen van heel dom persoon. Die zegt dat Amerikaanse cultuur alleen maar hamburgers is. We kunnen ook gewoon haar verder laten praten. Dat wil je soms wel en soms weer niet. Heb ik geleerd van dit spel, datingadvies. Je wil aan de ene kant het meisje wel een beetje de verhaal kunnen laten doen. Maar je moet niet alleen maar ja, ja, ja zeggen. Want ze moet ook jou een interessant persoon vinden op een gegeven moment. Dus laten we dan toch gaan voor... Ik doe meestal één fout antwoord. En dan duik ik op wat ik denk dat het goede antwoord is. Wat in dit geval iets spannender is. Ik denk, vertel over jouw ervaring in de Grand Canyon. Ik ben er al geweest, coole flex. Maar dat werkt alleen als we er dat werk zijn geweest. Uh, de kans is hoog dat het personage heel iets anders beschrijft... Dan de Grand Canyon. Uh, dat we gewoon heel erg voor lul staan. Dus dat is ook wel grappig. Als je naar de Grand Canyon een paar jaar geleden ging, ging je in de car van LA. Ja. Yeah. Prima reis. 
No. This is okay because it's kind of connected to the subject, but it's not the best answer because you're talking about yourself and your own experiences ah. and it would be more interesting to her. Uh, there'd be better connection if you kept it, kept it focused on her. Nog eventjes op haar focus en dan zelf gaan flexen. Oh, should I say that? No. Oh. I've run out of things to say. What? Het verhaal loopt opeens dood. Uh, we kunnen oogcontact breken en rondkijken. Hmm. Hou oogcontact en wachten dat ze praat. Forceer dat. Of zeg dat je ongemakkelijke stiltes niet leuk vindt. Nou kunnen we een heel gesprekje beginnen over ongemakkelijke stiltes. Wat aan zich weer heel ongemakkelijk is. Uh, ik denk oprecht dat het misschien beter is om die stilte gewoon even te laten vallen. En oogcontact te houden. Om te laten zien dat je er comfortabel mee bent. Maar dit wordt mogelijk heel creepy. Dus het is een beetje 50-50. Of gewoon strong independent man. Doe jij het gesprek maar. Of gewoon echt heel creepy. Dus uh, ik word heel spannend deze. So are you not gonna get any coffee? Ah, oh, well actually I was, I was over by the bar just uh, before I saw you and had a coffee there and I try not to drink too many. I get, it actually has a strong effect on me so I don't need that much energy. I've, I've had enough. So I'm, I'm nog slokje genomen ook. Zelf geen dorst. Correct. Now most guys can't do this, you know, so it's, it's very cool, makes you look very confident and strong when you can hold I eye contact it. like this and get her to be the one that works to fill the silence and come up with something to say because it shouldn't always be you, right? Tell me some things you like to do for fun. Well, since I, as long as I can remember, I've always loved playing volleyball, so that's ah, something okay. I ah, try to do whenever high. I can. Do you play beach volleyball? I will, yeah. Oh, very In a nice. pinch. Are you very good? Yeah. You can do that where you jump and smash sure. it down. Cool. Yeah. That's nice. It's harder on the beach because the nets are higher. But... Ah. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah, she knows her shit. Anything else you do? Yeah, I probably the thing I do the most is study Russian for hobbies. Ah, okay. Let's have a look. Complimentjes, flexen met alle talen die jij weet, zeg dat je zuigt in talen. Of zeg dat het dom is en dat Poetin gemeen is en dat de Russen alleen maar wodka drinken. Yes, verkocht! Russia. Mm -hmm. And Russian, that's, that's kind of weird to be honest. I mean, can you pick like a better country or better language? Well, I know that, I mean, there's certainly the people sometimes think that maybe Europe is more interesting or safer or something, but I've spent a lot of time in Russia and well, it's it's wonderful. Well, I mean, look at Putin. He goes around invading everywhere, blowing <laughs> stuff up. Look at... Putin is one face. facet vodka of a very complicated place. Lots of vodka, bears, snow. Isn't it just like a desolate wasteland full of no, horrible people? it's really not. The people are wonderful. There is some issues with alcohol. One foot gold digging and beating people up, isn't it? You need to get out of... <laughs> if you go beyond Moscow, I think you would find in the small towns, people are really pleasant. Well, look at all the politics and stuff. I mean, why are you like a communist or something? No, I'm not a communist. <laughs> and actually, neither... You don't love freedom and Ameri the American way and all that. Russia is, is not a communist country. No, but it's like Neat. a... I mean, how long has Putin been in power? Like 100 years or something, you know? And he used to be the boss of the KGB. It's just a... Yeah, FSB. Yeah. Well, I think if you can separate yourself at all from one aspect, you don't have to like everything about a culture to appreciate it. It's well, it's so like you, you study Russian, you like Russia, but you're not evil, is what you're telling That's me. That's what I'm telling you. Mm. Okay. And neither are they. I give you the benefit of the doubt. Gaat het gesprek door? Was dit een half goed antwoord? The lesson here is to try and ah. be empathetic. So if someone's taken the time to study Russian, why don't you find out why, right? It takes yeah. a lot of effort, a lot of energy. It's a lot harder than other subjects. So before you judge, try and listen a little bit and you might learn something. We hebben al genoeg de dingen die ze doet afgekraakt. Een gesprek beginnen met een vreemde vrouw is niet alleen maar alles wat ze zegt. Oh, nou eigenlijk. Well... Actually, je hoeft niet alles te mansplainen. Uh, dit is gewoon een beetje jezelf voor lul zetten. Dat werkt, maar je moet niet alleen maar in een gesprek met een vrouw zeggen... Oh, kan je dat? Ik niet. Oh, kan je dat? Oh, kan ik ook niet. Uh, dan ben je gewoon een sukkel. Dan ben je ik gewoon jezelf onder haar aan het schuiven. En dan denkt ze, wat een sukkel, uh, ga weg. Dus in principe gewoon zeggen... Oh, Russisch, dat is best moeilijk. Je bent vast heel slim. Russian? Ah. Yeah. You know, I meet loads of people that speak... What, French, English, obviously Spanish, German. Mm -hmm. Russian is really rare. 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 Russian is really rare
I don't really have a good reason. When I was in high school, I did a, I had the opportunity to do a study abroad, and my choices were France and Russia, and I didn't want to go to France, so I went to Russia, and then I just never quit. Mm -hmm. I actually like that you chose something tough and mm -hmm. that you stuck with it. Mm -hmm. And, you know, like I said, most people take the easy options all the time. So it's interesting and cool that you do It's a good, good answer. Nice one. You know, when a girl has something that is a real talent, something that she should be proud of, something she's worked hard on, that's the kind of thing you don't want to tease her too much on. So, yeah. you know, yeah. say well done, yeah. say you respect that and say why, and then go deeper into it because, you know, you need to find out why she would do that, why she was interested, what would make her spend the time on it. And it's going to lead to interesting conversation, make her feel good as well. I noticed you have an accent. Do you mind if I ask where you're from? Uh, England, actually. Whereabouts? I um, was born in London um, because I travelled a lot and I moved. I've lost most of my accent, but do I still sound British to you? Yes, very much. Oh, that's good. That's good. Okay. You like my British accent, don't you? Mm. Tell her how girls go crazy about your British accent and you get laid everywhere. Wel uh, de waarheid. It's funny you should ask me about my accent because mm -hmm. girls just go crazy for it. Do they really? Yeah, I'm, maybe you are a bit now, but we'll get to that later. But yeah, just everywhere I go, I go, oh my God, are you British in America or in, I don't know, Brazil? I've seen cartoons where this happened. Say gebeurt, tomato, 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 say tomato, say this. And then they just don't have to do anything and talk about the most boring subject. And the girls are just, you know, like this. So yeah, just girls want to sleep with me based on the accent. <laughs> When I try, in England they don't, but... You know, when I travel, they really do. So that's why I travel, to be honest. Daarom ga ik op reis om mijn accent te flexen. That's my accent. That's very gross. Very lucky. Lucky. Hmm. Proud to be British because of that mainly. So if you want me to say, you know, some some stuff, tomato, potato, or whatever you say, um, with my English accent, tomato. How does that make you feel? Does I feel nothing. You, does it make you randy? Oh my god. You like it? <laughs> No, I'm sorry, that's... I don't fetishize the British accent. So. Oh, sorry. What? What accent do you like, then? I wouldn't... I don't fetishize any accent. Ugh, that's a bit boring, because I, I can do French accent and, <laughs> and a few other accents. No, sorry. Wasted, you're telling me it's wasted on you? It's wasted. So I need Solidly to get wasted. you wasted, is the way. <laughs> Or something else, yeah. Okay. Although it's very true, 100% true, don't need to say it, do you? <laughs> Hij heeft wel gelijk, ja, je kan gewoon heel veel seks hebben met een Britse accent. Ik denk dat het woord, uh, you like my British accent, don't you? Gewoon een beetje subtiel, een beetje doen van, oeh, vind je me leuk? Vind je me leuk, maar niet het heel dik opleggen. Gewoon een beetje met een grappie, een beetje half sarcastisch. Uh, dus we gaan gewoon voor die, voor de subtiele flex. And I guess you like my British accent. Yeah, it's nice. That's good. Yeah, most people like it, so mm -hmm. it's good. I'm happy I was born in England and not like uh, Germany or something. Or... Oh, really? Yeah, what do you think? German accent is kind of. I rough think it sounds and... fine. Yeah? You yeah. like Arnold Schwarzenegger? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. But similar accent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Okay. A little bit too cocky, not the right time. Mm. Het is iets te vroeg om raar te gaan flexen, maar het is goed genoeg. De opties zijn een soort van spectrum. Je kan of gewoon vragen, hé, hey, wat doe je in je vrije tijd? Gewoon casual doorgaan. Of haar nummer, of een date. Nou was in principe haar nummer de doelstelling. Uh, maar ik vind het gesprekje wel heel kort. Om te zeggen van, hé, hey, ik wil je echt graag nog een keer zien. We hebben voornamelijk gewoon haar belachelijk gemaakt. En dat zouden we graag nog een keer doen. Laat even proberen. Niet per se voor comedy purposes. Maar gewoon ook benieuwd ben of het kan. Of dat het gewoon echt te vroeg is. En dat ze ons gewoon een gekke gast vindt. Well, listen, it's been wonderful speaking with you. So, maybe I could get your number. And we... Ja, ze heeft een uh, Afrikaanse sim of zo. Um, I'm sorry, it really was nice talking to you. But maar... I just, um, I don't think so. Why you you don't like men? Dat er weinig over onszelf gepraat. Dat is het probleem. I I just don't want to see you again. Ah, waarom niet? Okay, but it was nice, right? Yeah, it's alright. Yeah, I liked it too. Yeah, well, I wasn't gonna see you again as well. I just said it to be polite. Okay. That's fine. Cool. Ik voel alleen maar je nummer, maar ik een gentleman ben. Dat is wat mannen doen. Yeah. Doei. This is a case of going for the number when you're not sure that she likes you. 
if you are having an open conversation, if you find things that you could do together, if she's smiling, uh. then you can ask for the number. If you ask for it otherwise, you know, even if you're persistent, it's likely to fail. Yeah. Misschien geeft ze zelfs wel de nummer, maar als je dan gaat berichten, dan negeert ze je. Dat is wat ik zou doen, denk ik. Als halverwege een gesprek iemand vraagt, mag ik je nummer? Zou ik wel zeggen ja, maar dan gewoon al het contact negeren. Dat is hoe daten werkt. Uh, laten we dan gewoon zeggen, wat ze doet in de vrije tijd, het gesprek gewoon even rekken. Wat like do you like to do in, I don't know, for fun, like in the evening? Russisch leren. Russian and whatever, but do you drink, dance, anything else? All of the above, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. at the same time? <laughs> When Party the girl. Strikes, yeah. Very cool. Yeah, I like going out sometimes, cocktail bars, different bars. Do you smoke shisha? Uh, hookah. Yeah, hookah, you call it in America, right? Yeah, I have from time to time. I'm not a, a huge fan, but... I quite like it. They say yeah. it's really unhealthy, but... It I seems think unhealthy. Once a month. <laughs> but you don't cough after it, so therefore... It's know. healthy? Yeah. So we need to do it sometime, like shisha, uh, hookah, um, cocktails, and then dancing. Oh, maybe. Meh. When you want to transition to seeing is someone again, it's very good to build up a picture of the kind of things that they do, the way they spend their time, because you might find a mutual connection. You find that you share some activities or that you do some things that okay, she wants to do, she does some that's things that's fair, that you'd that's like fair. To try, and then it makes it very easy to then go on and suggest the date from there and take the number. And do you have any other outdoor, like, active stuff you like to do? It's yeah. Like volleyball, but anything else? Yeah, I grew up in, in the country, so I really enjoy a lot of nature activities. I like hiking Ooh. and I love fishing. Fishing? Fishing, yeah. A girl who likes fishing? It happens. Yeah, wow. we, we exist. <laughs> That's interesting. I've never never done fishing, but I love the outside as well, you mm -hmm. know. Ik zit hier te kijken naar de antwoorden en degene waar mijn facecam voor staat is Run the Cube. Wat blijkbaar een psychologische test is waarmee we de hele brein gaan hacken. Dat is sowieso een leuke om te zien, maar misschien werkt dat op een of andere manier. Ik heb geen idee wat het trucje is. Dus laten we eerst gewoon eventjes haar gezicht aanraken. Gewoon halverwege het gesprek, casual, een beetje die wangetjes rekken. Gewoon even kijken hoe het met de rimpels zit, wat ze er allemaal op smeert, of ze de haar was. Die weet wel de standaard. Hey man, kom closer a second. Mm -hmm. Just see something. That's it. Well, come back. What are you doing? I just wanted to touch your face. You've got really Why? soft skin and you look you look like a little baby. I just wanted to like <laughs> kachi kachi koo. Something like that. That's a little unusual. No, no. I don't like that. Normal, normal. Guys don't do that to you? Normal, no. normal. Guys don't do that. To you. Period. I do it all the time. Girls love it. Because it's like <laughs> a big compliment. You look young, <laughs> you have nice compliment. skin, so touch your face. Oh, I'm sorry, that makes me uncomfortable. I wash my hands, if that's what you're worried about. No germs or bacteria or whatever. Still, no. Mm, well, maybe it's too soon, I'll wait. Definitely yeah, too soon. Like next time I need, have you a never. few drinks, and then get some face touching going on. Yeah? I don't think so, I'm sorry. Mm. I really want to touch your face now. All right. It's creepy. Okay. It's not a good feel to long door. Okay, that was a funny example, but in the daytime, you really don't need to touch her at all. It's fine just to work towards the number and have a good conversation. Yes. Ik vind het uh, wel leuk hoe vaak de duidelijk verkeerde opties echt het langste filmpje <laughs> veroorzaken. <laughs> dus het kan ook gewoon zijn, touch your face, no, you creep, pats, en dan loopt ze gewoon weg, weet je wel. Maar nee, nee, het is wel echt gewoon een half levensverhaal nog. We kunnen ook vragen wat haar plannen zijn. Een beetje langzaam die agenda inglibberen. Of wat voor mannen ze leuk vindt. Maar toch is het even de psychologische test. Eerder in de game heb ik al een paar keer psychologische testen gehad. En ze werden vaak heel snel opeens seksueel. Dus ik ben heel benieuwd. Are you interested in psychology? Yeah. Have you ever done this psychology test called the cube? Mm -mm. Right, it's really interesting. Do you want to do it just right now? It takes like one minute and it will tell you all about your personality. Sure. Oké, okay, so close your eyes. Dit was oprecht heel saai. Ik zal het plakken naar het einde van de video. Het is blijkbaar een daadwerkelijke dating techniek. Dus als je benieuwd bent na het outro, plak ik hem maar achteraan. Maar het is niet per se je tijd en moeite waard, jammer genoeg. This is oké okay and you can use it. So it doesn't destroy anything, but I'd say it's not the best option. We zijn duidelijk bijna bij het einde van dit level, want twee van de opties gaan over het krijgen van haar nummer, wat de doelstelling was. Maar we kunnen ook vragen of ze nog een paar minuten tijd heeft om seks te hebben op het toilet. 
But listen, I think things are just going swimmingly between us, so... Echt lekker. I've just noticed something. There's a restroom over there, right? And wait a second while I tell you my plan. You seem like an adventurous girl. Correct me if I'm wrong. You said you like, you know, doing different things. So what we're going to do, you're going to go to that restroom and I'm just going to bang your brains out. Oh my God. No. Zeg ja. Nee. Oh, nee. Well, just quickly, three, four minutes. I know you're busy. I don't even know what to say. This is so shocking. Well, I know offensive. you're happy. I know you're happy. No. You can say thank you. It's going to be great. Let's go now. You're a pervert. And I want you to leave I've my table. No, I'm sure you oh, have. Oh, so I'm goodbye. Really, you need to leave. I'm going to leave this the is, table. No, yeah. So yeah. goodbye. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm gonna, you're going to love it. I'm going to leave the table. I'll go and wait there. Okay. Get ready, you know, so to speak. You go do that. You come and join me in like 30 seconds so that people don't see us growing together, all right? Slim, so slim. You're going to come in 30 seconds, all right? Mm -hmm. Yeah? You'll be there? No, I won't be there. Just go. Go to the bathroom. Go to the, I don't need to go to the bathroom. To, I wanted, like, I don't need to... I'm not going with you. Use the bathroom in Listen, that. really, this, feel is, the long door, this is totally inappropriate, extremely oh, offensive, and I have been very clear. I get it, I get it. You're a shy girl, but trust me, this is gonna be like the best five minutes of your no, entire seriously, life. No, seriously, just, just, wonderful. Just leave. Get lost. No more. I don't want. Not another word. You do. Nope. You're off of it. Seriously, you're. But you're just, creeping me out. Just give me. No, I don't. Wait until stop. you see what I'm saying. Stop. Stop. You're extremely creepy. I want you to leave. Extremely, extremely creepy. creepy. Extremely creepy. Look. Okay. Look. I've had it with you. I'm not gonna. It's like, okay, oh, just please I take a million dollars. No, I don't want it. No, I don't want it. Here, have these Lamborghini keys. Drive it. No, no. I don't want it. Okay, Go. fine. I'm going. You weet niet wat je mist. Paul. True gentleman. Het <laughs> enige commentaar wat hij geeft is gewoon gast. Nee. Ik heb eerder in de game ook wel eens dat soort dingen gehad die gewoon zei van ja, dat is niet echt netjes of wel dan. Dan ging ik onder de rokje kijken of zo. Ehm. Um, ja, dan is de keuze voornamelijk tussen zeggen dat we een drankje gaan doen en vragen haar nummer en stel voor dat we samen gaan hiken en vragen haar nummer. Hiken was wel een van haar hobby's, maar drankjes drinken ook. Dus ik gok dat beide wel redelijk goed zijn. Ik ga voor hiken, dat voelt wel gewoon goed. Je like um, hiking en outdoor stuff en de weather is pretty good at the moment. So one day we could take a little trip or I don't know, meet in the evening. Anyway, lots of stuff. We got lots of stuff we could do together. So why don't you give me your number? Hij brengt het wel heel erg. Heb je wel de nummer? Dr. Creepy, doing it again. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Weer al een level gehaald. Exactly right. It flows very smoothly to find something that you both like and then suggest doing that as the reason to see each other again. It's way better than just saying, hey, give me your number or mm. hey, let's go for dinner tomorrow. Ja, nee. Oké, okay, er gebeurt nog iets. We moeten nog afsluiten. We kunnen een knuffel geven. Gewoon doei en dan weggaan. Oeh. Een handdruk die net iets te lang duurt. <laughs> Sowieso in, zeg maar, net iets te lang duurt versie van deze game is het, zeg maar, minimaal 10 seconden. Oké. Okay, so <laughs> Dit I'm willen we zien. Going, but het is gewoon raar you. als je er nu op een handdruk geeft. En, um, you know, I guess we'll meet again soon. Ja. Yeah. Uh, do some stuff. I'll message you and... Um, yeah, it was, it was lovely to see you, so... You, yeah, you too. I'll take it. Hand. I missed it! Bye. Just because a girl allows you to touch her doesn't mean you should touch her as much as possible. Uh. You need to, you know, keep that respect and not overstep the boundary. So mm. the minimum is good. Fast touches, soft, <laughs> and <laughs> not <laughs> like <laughs> that. Over that lichaam heen duik, okay. Uh... Zeg gewoon, het was leuk haar te ontmoeten. Ik denk dat dat beter werkt. We kunnen ook een knuffel en dan voor het kusje gaan. Voor de ongemakkelijkheid. Nog even goud tussendoor voor de level halen. Oké, okay, so I'm going to get going. But it was, it was lovely. Lovely to see you. Yeah. Um, come, give me a little hug. Pak er, pak er. Oh, too soon? Too soon? Oh, yeah. Oké, okay, don't worry. Um, oh, yeah. I'll, I'll, best, I'll call you anyway. Okay. See you soon. Bye. Bye. Uh, The surprise kiss never works. Remember that a kiss should only come after you've created a nice seductive bubble mm. and she wants it and she's giving you all that the signs that she's ready. That is where I have to do it. The seductive bubble creating by dames. There it all goes. I understand it now. And then we're going to go for doei. 
Het was leuk je te ontmoeten. Well, look, I should be heading off, but it was it was great meeting you. Really cool. Mm -hmm. Really cool. Really happy to meet you. And yeah, see you. Bye. Bye. Later. Ah. Oops, you know, got right to the ends, but this is a little bit too much. Um, being warm at this point, totally unnecessary. And if anything makes you look like a little bit of a wussy and might make her change her mind a about wussy. seeing you again. A wussy? Oké, okay, ja, dat is wel goed genoeg. Dus we hebben het level gehaald. Ik heb een gemiddelde score. Nu kan je hier dus nog alle losse opties langs om even te kijken waar je allemaal de mist exactly in ging. Right. It flows very smoothly. Ik kan nog wel heel even snel wat grappige dingen laten zien uit de eerdere levels. Er zitten een paar hele kleine hilarische momentjes in die ik graag even wil delen. Stel, je ziet een mooie dame op straat. Wat doe je dan? Wolf whistle. You wish. You wish. <laughs> het werkte It's niet. It's just not polite, is it? Gewoon niet erg netjes. Oké. Okay. We kunnen doen alsof we blind zijn. <laughs> wow. Um. <laughs> Very funny, but you know, in most cases she's just going to brush you off. Very funny. It is very funny. We kunnen nu um, even even kussen so geven. You're so beautiful, and I want to give you a kiss. Whoa, no, 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 <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm not trying to fuck you in the ass or anything. Just a little kiss. <laughs> fuck you. Ik heb dit level ook al gespeeld en toch kwam de I'm not trying to fuck you in the ass or something toch wel redelijk onverwachts uit de hoek. Nu wordt het echt leuk. Je kan namelijk halverwege het gesprek opeens een shirt uitdoen. So like somewhere No, no, no. Somewhere like on <laughs> Keep my your body. No, come, Keep and, your come and see. Nu heb je ook nog de optie om aan je piemel te gaan zitten tijdens het gesprek. Dat is helemaal gewoon lijp. Ik weet niet, dat is een beetje gevaarlijk yeah. op YouTube. Yeah, and I like nuts. I like uh, cashews. Oh my god. What? What? Oh, fucking pervert. You like nuts, you said. <laughs> If you like touching yourself, great. But make sure you do it in the privacy of your own home. Kijk, dat is weer een geniaal lesje masturbatie. Hey, je mag raden waar there. dit heen gaat. Dat zat ik gewoon in beeld. True gentleman. <laughs> Say you are an ass model and then try to touch your ass. Anytime. Now I work in IT, but I'm also an ass model. Look, check oh, it out. Oh, come on. Look at that, what do you think? It's nice. Good, yeah? Sure. Sure. Have a touch. No, no, no. Put your hand on no. it, it's fine. Don't be shy, come on. I'd rather not. You can, really, it's okay. No. Look, I can touch you, you can oh touch me. Oh my god, me. no, you can't. Mm -hmm. No, you can't. I could get your job. <laughs> This was going okay until you tried to touch her. You dat know, girls look red. Hey makkers, dat is wel weer eventjes genoeg. Super seducer. Als jullie het daadwerkelijk leuk vonden, laat het even weten. Dan maak ik binnenkort gewoon nog een videootje van level 5. Friend to girlfriend. Het gaat over de friendzone en hoe je daaruit kan komen. Door de relatie van een vrouw helemaal van binnenuit kapot te maken. Heb je daar tips voor nodig? Laat het even weten. Doe even een duimpje omhoog. Tot de volgende aflevering. Doei! Are you interested in psychology? Yeah. Have you ever done this psychology test called the cube? Mm -mm. All right, it's really interesting. Do you want to do it just right now? It takes like one minute and it will tell you all about your personality. Sure. Ooh. Okay, so close your eyes. And I want you to imagine that you're in some place, there's like a landscape, anything you like. Mm -hmm. And in that landscape, there's a cube somewhere. Nee. And describe to me what the cube looks like. Very big. Okay, it's silver. Yeah. It's floating. Okay. Uh, it's small, like the size of a dice. Okay. Bij mij is het groot en rood. Okay. Wat zegt het over mij? And somewhere in relation to the cube is the ladder. Can you describe the ladder? Uh, okay, it's green. Mm -hmm. It's not. It's one of these ladders, not one of these ladders. Mm -hmm. How big is it? Like three times the size of a person. Okay, pretty big. And then somewhere in this scene, there's a horse. Okay. And can you tell me like what it's doing and it's an anon. what it looks like? And stuff? It's grazing. It's a paint. Okay. And it looks very healthy. Is it close to the cube or or not? It's probably 30 feet from the cube. Okay. okay. And somewhere there are some flowers. Tell me about, about the flowers. A lot of dust, though. The flowers are by the horse. 
The horse is eating the flowers. Ah, that's interesting. And the final thing, somewhere there's a storm. Where is it? In the distance, near the mountains. Now go check in the Very good. All right, open your eyes. So this tells you, um, this tells me about your character. So the cube represents your view of yourself. And uh -huh. if it's very big, it means you've got a huge ego. Mm -hmm. But it's Shit. quite small, so it means you're quite humble. But then it's silver, so you think, you know, you have that self-confidence that you've got something, you know, special and a little bit shiny. And that's mm -hmm. it. And then the ladder represents your ambitions. So the fact that it's uh, quite big and bigger than the cube and not like under it or whatever else, means that you have quite big ambitions. So the horse uh, represents your man. So it was quite good that he's uh, healthy and you know looks good, and that he's nearby, right? He's mm -hmm. not far away, which would mean he's not on the horizon or in anything. In the storm, in the storm. And then the flowers represent your children oh. that you're going to have in the future. So it's good that um, the man is near them, that he's not like an absentee dad or something, mm -hmm. right? But a bit strange that he's eating them. So <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know what to think about that. Okay. The final point is positive as well. Um, it means that you have a sunny disposition because your problems are represented by the storm and it's in the distance. People have the storm overhead. That it just means that they've always got problems or that at that moment they're in a dark period in their life. Mm. So, does it sound pretty accurate? Yeah. Cool. That's very cool. It worked again. This is quite interesting. It's a psychological game. There's a book on it and a lot of pickup artists have used it. Oh. Um, it's, a, it's quite an interesting psychological it's test. Up, uh, Again, like the reason it's not the best choice is it's better if you can do without it. But if you'd like some, you know, little tricks and tools that you can carry around yeah. with you and use when necessary, this is okay and you can but use it. So it doesn't destroy anything, but I'd say it's not the best option.